Thank you. Let's talk about the situation with our local hospitals then. Last week it was Dorset County Hospital. Today uh, we've been talking about the pressures at Bournemouth and Poole. Ambulances have been queuing to get into emergency departments there. University Hospitals Dorset, who run those two sites, are asking people to only dial 999 in an emergency. They're suggesting people use the 111 service to help ease what they've described as unprecedented pressure at their front doors. Well, I'm pleased to say that Bruce Hopkins has made time for us. He's the senior matron covering the emergency departments at both Bournemouth and Poole. Bruce, thanks for coming on. That's no worries. Um, well, tell me what's caused this. Is it because of uh, staff problems, because of COVID? Yeah, I, I mean, it's multiple factors, really. And, uh, you know, it's interesting to hear you say on present unprecedented and i know we use that a lot but at the moment that's truly what it feels like uh, I, I mean spring for us is normally a little bit of a recovery period um but it feels very much like we're in a perpetual winter uh, and, a, and a winter that's really been like no other so there's a whole uh, host of factors of um covid is, is definitely a part of that and that's causing um both staff absence but also uh, it's reducing our, our downstream beds, which meaning that we have uh, exit block within within the department and just a reduced bed base. Um, but there's also um, there's far more patients walking into the emergency department than we have ever seen before. So patients that perhaps should have been better served by seeing over their GP or pharmacy or via 111 oh, right. are really voting, voting with their feet and, and arriving at our emergency department. That's interesting. Um, do you get a sense of why that is? Is it too hard to get? You know, we hear about the difficulty of getting face-to-face GP appointments. I, I think there's, there's a, certainly a perception that it's, it's very difficult to to get a GP appointment. So, um, you, you know, people are, are concerned about um, <clears throat> the ability to get a GP appointment and, and to see, obviously, the emergency department as a, as a first point of call. Um, I would always encourage people to try ringing their GP or via 111 um, because, obviously, the... The emergency department is really about just dealing with those immediate uh, acute illnesses and injuries, and we're really not set up for the sort of more chronic illness. Mm. Um, and the, I, I guess the problem, you know, if, if if you need an emergency department, we will always be here, and we will always see see those people who most need us. But where our waiting rooms become crowded with with um, patients that perhaps could have sought help elsewhere, it makes our job easier it's like trying to find that um medical needle in a haystack really so it's really about trying to keep the department safe and, and uncrowded yeah how are the um staff doing in the midst of this like you say this is a period when you, you kind of through <coughs> the tough stretch of the winter usually and the staff can recuperate it's not been the easiest couple of years with the pandemic for it to drag out the winter that is like this must be quite challenging on morale it, it, it is, you know, and, and again, I, I know it's it's said a lot, but it's, you know, we are really facing a very tired uh, workforce uh, that is constantly working in, you know, in the red zone. Uh, and so staff are starting to become burnt out where we're trying to mitigate that by recruiting heavily, including um, some from further around the UK and, and from overseas to bring in overseas nurses. But you know, all of that takes takes time so um it's it's taken a, a while to kind of step up and and really feel what are fairly substantial gaps in our recruitment and also i mean i guess the other thing you know we do have not only registered nurse vacancies but we have healthcare assistance vacancies and you know if there's people that want to work in healthcare uh, there's certainly gaps as well right yeah <laughs> call call now <laughs> um talking about calling the the advice then to to people is effectively to, to bear the fact that you are in the situation in mind and to try and help out by not becoming part of the problem that's it exactly you know so um anything sort of chronic illness uh, should be going by your uh, general practitioners and it may be that you have to wait a couple of days to see an appointment but but the 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 outcome will still be better because they're better served to to deal with chronic chronic illness than than we are um and if not 111 service you know if if it's something that's felt needs to become to the emergency department um you can also be given booked arrival times and that what that helps us do is is flatten the curve so to speak in terms of attendances so you could be sent at a time which is traditionally less busy uh, to the emergency department so there is that that um, option as well all right, really good to talk to you this morning, Bruce. Uh, good luck, stay in touch. Bruce Hopkins, uh, senior matron at Bournemouth and Poole Hospitals Emergency Departments. <laughs>